Hi, my name is Astrid Kapinga Chidibu and I'm originally from Congo. My parents moved with me when I was very little <laughs> to Germany. I grew up all my life in Germany. I moved to Paris in Australia eight years ago and I started to modeling five years ago and I love it. I took part in many, many things. Uh, for example, the beauty pageant Miss Africa, Face of Africa, and Uber Couture, Jantalope, and oh, so many, I don't remember everything. <laughs> What inspire me mm, to do modeling? It's a lot, especially the challenge behind a perfect photos or challenge to be to stand out as model in a fashion show. These are the things that I always look for to bring the best out of me, to give people the best fashion show, to give people the best shoots. Even they already have their own ideas, but I like to come and bring it out. So the challenge behind it is the one that I like. What I love about modeling, I love the way they can change you, the way they can, um, like your hair changing, your makeup changing, the new fashions, the way you work, for the people you're working is, um, I love it because I love to change. I don't like to stay with the same look all the time. So it's for me the perfect job where I can express myself as well. And it's like acting the same times. Like sometimes you have to look sad. Sometimes you have to look happy. Sometimes you have to look like you are completely going crazy. But the good thing is you change and you bring a story out there. This is what I love about modeling. The challenge for a black model, even in Australia or around the world, let me say this, um, it's definitely not easy for us because it's always the same thing. We have to bring our own makeup. We have to have a problem with our hairstyle. We always say, they always say that we have to have short hair and everything. Come on, look at me. I can wear long hair too. But the thing is like we have to believe in ourselves. And it's not like we have challenge that too much but the thing is we have a lot of work there but many people still thinking in the box they have to stop to think in the box they have to think outside the box because hey fashion is changing you cannot always go the same way over and over you cannot always stay in the same box over and over you're missing out the same work that other model can do i can do myself just try to make it for us easy if it's about makeup or hair we can do it L'Oreal, because I'm worth it, I can do it. <laughs> so it's just like, give us a chance. And me as a black model, I'm gonna say to other women out there, other girls out there that they are committed to go out there to do modeling, go for it. Believe on yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, you can do it. Because if I can do it, then you can do it. There's so many models that I work with and they are so amazing because I start definitely um, to work with them when I start my model career and they're all supporting me everywhere I'm going or even if I need them for an event. People like Kelly Board, Rima Becker, Michelle Lake, um, so many. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> tell them all. We're gonna say that until tomorrow though. <laughs> Academy is a place for people who really want to learn about modeling, how to work, how to be in a fashion show, how to become really success in the model industry. We are there to help and to be with you during the journey for you to completely success in every area that you think it's really important for you. And um, I started to do that actually to work and it's like one year ago. And this is something that really, really I enjoy doing because it's always come with new challenge. And what we're doing is we have four weeks classes and then five weeks we have always just photo shoots, different theme, really exciting. And then one week where we're doing fashion show where you can invite family, friends, they can all come and see you and how you're growing. So we're just not working with you, but it's well with your family because we want your family and us to work together to bring the best 
best out of you and yeah it's they are how we say they are be yourself so I don't require so much just be yourself this is what I'm asking child organization if I have the possibility to do one definitely it's gonna be an hospital a child hospital in Africa because I think and believe it is really important for our new generation to be in a good health because you cannot send a child who is sick or not in good health to the school or to go and learn something because he's not able to. So everything starts first by you being well-being, by you being healthy. Because when you're healthy, you're able to learn, you're able to do anything you want. So it's so important first to be healthy. Take us more freestyle with me, but I always record. Um, I see my modeling agency going really far. Um, I'm planning to go definitely around Australia first. I'm Australian in Europe because I'm from there. <laughs> and definitely after Europe, I'm gonna go in Africa. I really want to bring my roots back and to bring them to the next level and to bring the beauty as well. And so to learn and definitely I see myself in five years. I'm gonna be international. Everyone gonna say, Bea, be yourself. My advice to all other models out there, I definitely gonna tell you one thing. Don't go in the fashion to be model if you just dress for money or just to get famous. Do it because you love it. When you love something, it's so easy to do the work because you're gonna even more flourish without even working hard on it. So don't do something because people are telling you to do it or because people are forcing you. Do it because you love it. Without love, things not gonna work. So you need a lot of love because love actually makes you more creative. I definitely think that um, people out there, especially we women uh, in the fashion industry or even as black women, we have a voice out there that it needs to be listened to. And it's why well, we have to work together. It's really hurt me when black models making concurrence to each other, thinking, no, I have to stand the best. No, she is not good enough or this and this. It is so hurtful. You know, why can we not work together? Like when I see, let me really be radical. When I see white people working together, why we black people cannot work together? And this is a thing really killing me. We're supposed to go and say, okay, girls, we're gonna catch up, train each other. We can have some meeting together where we can learn from each other. No, but it's always about being gossiping, who is who, who, what, what. This is why sometimes really, I go back to my old little world where I can just, talk with God, with really, really close friends, and work on ideas. Even though I would like to share this with you, and I can, because some of you out there pull each other down, and this is not about pulling each other down. It is time for us to go out of the case and start to erase and shine for once. If we can do that, then we can say black is powerful. So long? No. Um, I'm gonna show you one of my first photo shoots I have done here in Perth. Uh, my first one was with um, Celine, <laughs> Celine Pronox. She is the first photographer ever to shoot me. And um, yeah, here in Perth, this was such a success. <laughs> and um, the first walk, pay walk that I have out to model for someone, it was with Savoir Faire makeup. One of the best makeup as well here in Perth. Savoir Faire is um, a French brand and Savoir Faire actually means know how to do it. <laughs> so I really loved it. It was one of my first like paid job for working for a makeup brand. Um, I think they've done really a great job. Like, you know, I could wear my own hair and they've done like, yeah, I cannot, like the leaves, the eyes, everything was like, Perfect. They bring really the beauty of someone without doing so much. So I really liked it. <laughs> and oh, there's so many things. I've been doing a lot. I work for oh, Freedom Couture. One of the person who always does hair. She is so amazing. And um, I love the way she worked because she is such an inspiring woman. She started as well 
like Woody from Squash and seeing her focusing in what she's doing and keep going I like freedom hey culture you are the best I can just say you are the best a place for people who really want to learn about modeling how to work how to be in a fashion show how to become really success in the model industry we are there to help and to be with you during the journey for you to completely success in And this is the message for me to every makeup artist out there. You cannot call yourself a makeup artist if you cannot deal with every color of skin. So don't make us bring our own makeup as a black model because we feeling a bit like outside. So if you're calling yourself as a professional makeup artist, then you need to know how to work with dark skin. Thank you. For makeup, for example, for makeup, makeup artists and models, you can get so many makeups out there for all tone. You can use Black Opera or MAC. We have all tones. And plus, sometimes you can just mix everything yourself to find the match tone for a model. So, go and get it. Thank you so much, TDA TV, for having me. You make me feel so home. And it was amazing to share with you everything. And I cannot thank you enough. Now I'm going to have a little surprise for you. Merci beaucoup TDA TV for help, pour uh, m'avoir. Danke schön TDA TV, dass du mich besuchen hast. Mille grazie TDA TV. Mia mwa, mia amor. <laughs> Vraiment na lingi yo makasi TDA TV. I know I speak so many language. <laughs> L'Oréal because I'm worth it.